Hey, it's Darius, and I have a question for you. Do you know your time? When I ask people, they're always like, what do you mean? Do I know my time? Of course I know my time. Well, nope, you don't know your time. I don't even know my time. If I want to know my time, I have to keep an activity log because otherwise my brain tricks me. Do you know this feeling? You're browsing the internet and all of a sudden you, you look at your watch and it like two hours went by and you're like, oh my goodness, what happened to all my time? You know, we've all been there. So don't believe that you're smarter than your brain because your brain just plays tricks on you. So what I want to challenge you is to keep an activity log. And an activity log is very simple. So I just keep a notepad on my desk with a pen and I keep it open. And every hour I write down what I've done through the past hour. So I write down between, I just write down 9 a.m. till 10 a.m. I did X, Y, and Z. I do this for, for all day. Uh, at least on my working hours. And uh, you can also do it for all, all day, even the, in the evening if you work as well. So that's what I do as well. So that's where it starts. We start keeping an activity log. Now I want you to do this for two weeks. And it's not that big of a deal. It's just two weeks of your life and it can change your life and it can improve your life massively. So the return is, is unbelievable. This can really change your life. So now what we're going to do is after those two weeks, we're going to sit down and we're going to watch, uh, we're going to read our notebook. We're going to identify the critical tasks and the trivial tasks. And by those critical tasks, I mean the 20% of the tasks that bring 80% of your results. We all know the 80-20 rule, and now it's time to apply it in our lives. Look at what activities bring you the most happiness, the most money, the most uh, productivity, or whatever it is. And use common sense. Think about it. You know, are there some maybe drinks or social activities you go to that don't give you any satisfaction? Stop doing them. Are there any tasks that don't bring in any results? Stop doing them. Are there any tasks that you can delegate? Start delegating. So this is what we want. So this is why this exercise is important. We want to be more conscious of our time. So that's my challenge to you. Start keep, keeping an activity log. Do it for two weeks. Start being more conscious of where your time goes and then try to improve it. Because as Peter Drucker once said that if you want to manage your time, you have to know where your time goes. And most of us, we don't know where our time goes. So start doing this, keep doing this for two weeks and start seeing yourself become more conscious about your time. And after those two weeks, analyze your life and try to cut, that, cut out a few things that are not bringing you any results in your routine and your daily activities. And uh, what we want to do is this exercise, you don't have to do this 365 days a year. Preferably, you want to do two or three of these two week uh, sessions. So I do this about two, two times a year and I keep a, a very strict activity log and that's enough for me to improve my life and improve my productivity. And sometimes things creep into my schedule and, and it probably happens to you as well because you pick up some kind of habits that are not useful. Like uh, for example, I started watching all kinds of stupid TV shows a while back and I just, after a while, it became automatic. You know, I went to Netflix and I started a TV show and I just wasn't aware of it, that it's, I was just wasting my time. It wasn't even things that I enjoyed watching. So when I started uh, writing down the activity log, I initially believed it's just a 30 minutes of my day, but it turned out that sometimes it was an hour, an hour and a half, or maybe even more. So that's what you want. You want to see, be more conscious of your time. And when we start doing that, we start living what I call the procrastinate zero mindset.